morning ladies and gentlemen birthday warrior here i hope you guys are having a good preparation day so happy preparation day i hope you guys took time out to study the word remember this is our only defense this is where we have to study because we have to know the bible so we can share it with others and we know it is later than we think we are running out of time on this earth and we know that Jesus is a gentleman and he keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts and he stayed for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life and that is John 3 16 but before we go into our respiration let us go ahead and bow for prayer and then we go into a scripture reading the kind of gracious and the father I thank you for this beautiful day father I ask you Friday father that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer in Jesus name amen amen okay my sister my brother so we're going to uh, Corinthians first Corinthians chapter 3 uh, we did yesterday 16 so we're going to pick up on 17 or maybe I should just go 16 and 17 let's do that know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you here's the verse 17 if any man defile the temple of God him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple are ye? Mm, that's a good question. Which temple are ye? Each individual will have to give an account of what they are doing within their body. What are they doing with this body that God has given to? Um, you know, so we all will have to give an account, okay? I know a lot of people marking their body all over, but God is not asking us to mark our body. He's asking us to be doers of the word, be doers of the word. We don't have to be marking our body and putting all these different signs saying that I'm child of God or whatever, you know? We need to just go ahead and do what he says. He didn't ask us to put the mark on our body. He just said, go ahead and, and, and be doers of my word. So before we go into our um, respiration, and we're going to do part two, and this is still coming out of my favorite book, one of my favorite books. Let us go ahead and um, go into that right now. So I will pick up, let's do the last paragraph from yesterday, and then we'll go into today. Okay, it says, thus an infus, infus, um let me go back, let me see what, let me see if I want to go all the way there, that's probably a little bit fun. Okay, thus an in, insufficient supply of oxygen is received, the blood move sluggishly, the waste poisonous matter which should be thrown off in exhalation from the lungs is retained and the blood becomes impure mm. hey richard hope you are doing well my friend hope you are doing well okay so says said not only the lungs but the stomach the liver the brain are affected the skin become sallow meaning it becomes yellowish or it becomes pale or it becomes jaundice and then digestion is retarded, and then the heart is depressed. The brain is clouded, the thoughts are confused, gloom settles upon the spirit, and the whole system becomes depressed and inactive, and peculiarly, and it, it comes, a weak, or we could say, it becomes, let's see what I'm saying, vulnerable to disease. So our system, we have to make sure that our system is properly, um, we're eating the right food to put the right nutrients in our body. But then, like I stated yesterday, it's not only the food, my sister and brother, it's a whole complete, um, um, how would you say, a whole complete law that God has given us. Not only are we supposed to eat the right food, but we need to clothe our body the right way. We need to be covered up. We need to be covered up. Okay, so let's go into the part for today. It says, the lungs are constantly throwing off impurities and they need to be constantly supplied with fresh air. Impure air does not afford the necessary supplies of oxygen and the blood passes to the brain and other organs without being vet, um, vitalized. Hence the necessity of rigorous or complete ventilation 
no, or complete where am I? Yeah, ventilation. To live in close, ill ventilated room where the air is dead and impaired, it weakens the entire system. It becomes particularly sensitive to the influence of cold and a slight exposure induced disease. It is close confinement indoors that makes many women pale and feeble. They breathe the same air over and over until it becomes laden with poisonous matter throw off through the lungs and pores and impurities are thus um, converted back to the blood. So like I stated before, I, I don't remember, it was a long time ago, I covered um, the ventilation in our rooms. You should have a uh, air going always going through your room especially if you have someone that is sick someone that maybe you might be taking care of your room supposed to have air coming in there 24 7 okay whether it doesn't matter whether it's raining outside or it is cold there should be some air going through okay going through going through going to the room and especially if the someone like I said is sick okay and if they are sick or you are in a, how would you say, a disease state, okay? You have to make sure that you are going outside and getting fresh air. You cannot be um, in a, how would you say, um, like a uh, office and you confine it 20, uh, you know, eight hours a day within that. You have to go outside, my sister, my brother, and get some fresh air. You have to go outside and get some fresh air. And like I stated before, if you are a, a lighter complexion, you need about 15, 20 minutes in the sun. If you're darker, you need more sunlight. So you need about maybe 45 minutes to an hour in the sun. But then you got to make sure that it's not the hottest part of the day as well. You got to be like maybe like in the early morning part and maybe in the late evening. It should not be at the hottest time of the day. And then I know a lot of people put a lot of, how would you say, uh, sunscreen lotion and most sunscreen lotion does more damage to your skin than the Sun does that make sense it more does more damage so maybe you might have to have an umbrella or maybe a hat on your head or something my sister my brother but you need the Sun we all need the Sun it's a reason that we have the Sun there's a reason that in the summertime it's you know most people are happy most people are cheery you know because of the Sun uh, you know, the more place you find that is um, cold or it's, um, it's, you don't see that much sunlight. Most people are, are in a state of depression. So the sunlight, we need to be in the sun. We have to be in the open air, breathing um, the fresh air. And then we also maybe you might want to go ahead and uh, check and see how you need to, uh, how we need to breathe properly, okay? Now you might want to go ahead and, and think about doing that as well. So that concludes part two of uh, respiration. So to uh, on Monday, we're going to go into uh, ventilation and sunlight. That would be on Monday. I tell you, it's beautiful. It's nice to, to be uh, out here in, in nature. Uh, have, uh, I'm in the, on the back of the property uh, or back of the house, I should say. And then I have another... Um, um, black walnut tree there and then you guys can see uh, the pine trees and if you look there's a lot of trees all around all around and then this particular one here let me go over there maybe you guys can see me over there let me go this particular one here I hope you guys can see me this one here is eucalyptus this one it's a eucalyptus tree it planted this about a two years ago and it's growing fantastic e eucalyptus so those of you that might have issues with animals in the home. I know a lot of people have animals in their home. And so this is a good, um, um, eucalyptus is a good oil that you can also put on your skin to fight off the insect, um, whether it's the fleas or the tick. And this is also a good oil. Eucalyptus is also a good oil to bathe your dog, put it in their bat wa water, okay? That's a very good, good tree. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what this one is. Let me go back here. You guys can probably see me this one. I'm not sure what this tree is. This one. See that? It has these huge leaves. I'm not sure. 
uh, but I know it gives off like um, uh, like you say uh, let me see let me see maybe I should go over here I show you hold on hold on hold on so this leaves here you guys can see me right see this leaves here I don't know what plant to do but it gives you these things in here so you see that and it has like a some seeds in here and it rattles like where you could like shake it and it rattles but this one here all the uh, seeds came out see all the seed came out but I probably need to do a research to see exactly what this plant is but I like to I like to uh, listen to it because it has rattle in there but for whatever reason these ones here are uh, the seeds fell out seeds fell out and then um, I'm not sure if you guys could see but if you look on the ground here I'm not sure can you see that I don't know if you can see that I've got some um, what do we call uh, cactus some cactus down there as well so you know so as you come out into nature my sister my brother there's so much stuff that we can uh, use um, for us to have a better better health a better health you can come and look at the you know cactus uh, some part of the year <clears throat> We get uh, a blossom, a flower that comes on there. And so it's so beautiful just to be out here in nature. And then if you look, I have another tree over there that's budding. Uh, it has this beautiful flowers on there. Pink flowers, I'm not even remember the name of that one. But see, just my sister, my brother, the bottom line is we all need to be out in nature. Um, it, was not, it was not God's intention for his children to be in the city. Let me drink some water. To be in the city because that's where you have more violence in the city it was God's intention for his children to be out in nature you know let's go back to Eden let's go back to Eden out in nature where you can hear the still small voice of God you can see the different uh, animals that he's created and you have more of appreciation for life you have more appreciation for life so here is um, my hymn my soul be on thy guard my soul be on thy guard my soul be on thy guard ten thousand folds arise the hosts of sin are pressing hard to draw thee from the sky oh watch and fight and pray the battles never give over renew it boldly er, er, renew renew it boldly every day and help divine prayer or we need to be asking or we need to be begging God for his divine um, help never think the victory won nor lay thy armor down mm. let me repeat that never think the victory won nor lay thy armor down thy difficult task will not be done Till thou obtain the crown so we knew we should not be taking our armor off we always should put on the armor of God in the morning put on the armor of God as we continue put on the whole armor of God until he said until we get to the crown until Jesus second coming my sister my brother or if the Lord should put uh, us to sleep before he comes we want to make sure that we are died in Christ so when he comes he will wake us up and he will take us to heaven so we'll meet him in the air so the dead in Christ will rise first and meet him in the air and then those of us uh, that are alive will caught up in the air so Jesus will not touch this earth so when someone is said well Jesus is over here or he's over there no my sister my brother when he comes back you will know because if you think about everything that's going on right now the earth is speaking the earth is speaking and so since the earth is speaking people are thinking that we need to be worshiping the the earth and we are called to save the loss not to save the earth okay we are called to save the loss not the earth my sister my brother and because we are in violation of the fourth commandment and you can find that in Exodus, Exodus 20, uh, verses 8 through 11. We talk about remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What day is that? It's Saturday. Never was Sunday. Okay? So because we're in violation of not keeping the fourth commandment, we have the earth 
that is speaking and so when you have all these calamities going it's because the earth is speaking we need to get ready get ready Jesus is coming soon and when you think about Revelation 13 talks about the first beast then you talk about Revelation 13, start of verse 12, talk about the second beast. America, look at what's going on in America. America is the second beast of Revelation 13. And the second beast will give allegiance to the first beast and force people to what? To worship, worship the sun, worship on Sunday not Saturday. So we as individuals need to be studying our Bibles like never before. That's what I'm saying is so important because it's coming a day that they don't want you to read this, my sister, my brother. If you want to know what God has requirement, we must study, we must study. So as we continue to study, may us remain faithful until the end, my sister, my brother. Get ready, get ready. Jesus is soon to come. And we as individuals need to not only get our ourselves in, our, in order and um, allow him to take control, but we also need to be helping our other family members and we need to be sharing it with our neighbors and our friends. And our neighbors are anyone that we come in contact with. It doesn't mean your surrounded area. You mean anyone that you come in contact with is your neighbor. So let us bow for prayer. Thank you, gracious and Father. I thank you for this beautiful day, Father continue to bless us father if we have done anything father that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight we ask you to wash us and make us clean father be with us father father someone needs your help today someone needs to feel your presence today so our father we just ask you to just go and be with that individual right now be with them and allow them to feel your presence Father, give us the power, Father, to run from sin. Give us the power to dislike sin, Father, because we know by sinning that we have crucified you, Father. So be with us and give us the power that we need to do what is pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Continue to bless us, it's my prayer, Father. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, my brothers and my sister, have a great, uh, super awesome weekend. I know this might, might have been a little bit long, but it's just, you know, sometimes I just do uh, educational stuff. So maybe someone might have, you know, need the uh, extra encouragement. We all do, we all do, we all do. So let's continue to remain faithful until the end. And get ready, get ready. Jesus is coming soon.